We are continuing our series on why marriages fail. Ambition is an area that causes marriages to stumble and weaken, and in some cases, fail and create divorces. Each marriage must have a clear understanding about their ambitions. And this can take place in various settings. As people get older and they look for opportunities in their career, or they may decide to do something after children or some other event in their lives that may spark a change for a different journey. This can cause disruption. In marriages, can be under tremendous stress from these changes. In the book of Philippians, chapter 2, verse 3, Paul mentions about selfish ambitions. We can have ambition, healthy, in ways that we can communicate effectively with our spouses and make sure that it will work out for the best. And he goes on to write about finding humility and value others over themselves. So this is the tipping point in a marital relationship. Selfish ambition leads to selfish or an inwardly way of thinking. And someone in a marriage would not consider the thoughts of their spouse. It is all about what they need to do and accomplish. And then the marriage fails. It falls apart. This is not the way for God's Children, his followers must live in a way that brings about righteousness, faithful living, making sure that their marriage is maintained. And if we're not maintaining our marriages, we are failing our commitment to Christ. A marriage is a God-given proposal. And we must take it seriously. We must always think about our marriages, cultivate the relationship, not to allow others to come between it. The time is in this present moment to go on the journey 
that God has created. Heaven, the perfect place to rest our souls. To have the best of the best. Everything that we have ever hoped or dreamed about. God has this place for us. It's time to get close to the Father. It is time to be connected. It is time for your soul to be on the right path for eternity. <laughs>